Good evening and welcome to Marsden Heights' virtual open evening for 2020. It's really a very strange situation that we find ourselves in, where we're not able to take you around our building and have you uh, wandering into classrooms, having guided tours by children. You know, our, our children sell our school really well. They talk with truth, they talk with openness and they talk with honesty and I've always taught them to do that you will get the, the story from the children as to the types of things that we do in school, the things that they like, and you've really missed out on those things. But I do hope that our videos have shown you a little of some of our children's enjoyment and, and the things that they feel themselves. At this point of the evening, you would be um, walking into one of my presentations. And I thought that it was really important that I still did a presentation to be able to share with you the things that I think are, are crucial for us as a school. I believe that we have to have children who are happy, safe and well. And I, I believe in those th three things really strongly because if we have children who are happy, safe and well, then we have children who will be confident, children who will be dynamic, who will be ambitious, learners who will be creative thinkers because they will have confidence and they will deal with other people respectfully and so for me those are the three things that have to happen to ensure that learning can take place and so it's something that I feel strongly about and I know that the staff share that with me. The second thing that I think is truly important is that, that Marsden Heights is a community college and I believe that a school sits right at the heart of its community it's important that it does. Um, we take the best bits of the community, we take the best bits of the school and we allow each of those to have an impact on the other. And we do an awful lot of work with our community partners um, and our children are involved not just after the end of the school day or even in the morning before they come to school uh, doing things with the community but also on Saturdays and Sundays giving up their free time. We believe in educating the whole child. Yes, academic um, targets are really, really important. And we set high targets for children to reach. And we have positive um, progress eight figures, which mean that our children, when they come to school from key stage two, uh, make progress, which is positive. If it was at zero, that would mean that they had made the progress that was expected. But for it to be a, a plus figure means that we are extending our children further. Our children come in well below national average when they enter in year seven. And yet they achieve national average and ex exceed national average in many, many of their subjects. And that's because we have high targets for our children to reach. We believe in pushing them hard. We have teaching which focuses on addressing gaps that the children may have. And we also put so much faith in our teaching that I and um, an assistant head and a deputy head go around to lessons and visit them once, maybe twice a day. At the moment, during, uh, during the situation that we're in here with the increased restriction and as working in bubbles um, and zones, I'm in the ele year 11 zone every day, every lesson, every class um, to be making sure that that teaching and that learning is, is focused on, on addressing those gaps. And we, we make no apologies for that. We think it's the right thing to do for our children to make sure that they are um, addressing those gaps and that they are learning all those skills that will make them effective learners. And with that in mind, the second part about educating the whole child is about social skills and making sure that our children are able to feel confident no matter what situation they find themselves in. Aorus is really important to us, making sure that the children speak clearly, that they listen well, that they're able to use the right words, that we use 100% right um, all the time. Format matters for these children so that every time we're making sure that children are answering correctly, they're increasing that confidence, and they're building their confidence all the time. We also believe um, in teamwork and paired work very, very important for our children to make sure that no matter what kind of team that they face in the future, uh, whether that's at college or whether that's at university or whether it's in the workplace, that they will be able to get on and have that respect for others, mutual respect. The third element to educating the whole child is the cultural aspect, and that's meaning exposing children to 
new experiences. So here, for example, every child in seven, eight and nine has a, a, a time with Forest School, which means that they go out into the, um, the wilderness that is our um, grounds and they learn how to build fires and, and bake things around campfires. They learn to go bug hunting, things which they wouldn't necessarily be able to do at home. Uh, we have visitors who come into college. We have student voice, um, student voice through student parliament. We have positive voices where our children are handpicked to be able to be part of a team which go and work in the community. And all of these experiences are extra to the things that they would gain at home. And all of them serve to not only build their confidence, but to give them a, a greater understanding of the world at large. And the final element to educating the whole child is making sure that we're working with our community, that the children feel a part of their uh, community and that they can have an impact in their community. But once a Marsden Heights pupil, always a Marsden Heights pupil, so that they're part of that community here in school and that they feel that they can come back and still play a role um, with our students. So actually we have a fair number of staff who have attended this school who have come back to make a difference and that's truly fantastic for us. So what do we expect of our children? Well, as I've said, I do expect them to be involved in all aspects of college life. I expect them to give 100% effort every day in every lesson. And it's something that I did with my own children as a mother and something that I expect from the children here. Um, I don't think that we can ask any more. If they've given absolutely everything that they have, then I, I feel that that's a good lesson and it's a good day for them. To be polite, to be kind and caring towards others. Um, the, the things that visitors notice when they come to the school and talk about is the way that our children are. They will ask you how you are that day and genuinely want to know the answer. They will hold doors open for you. They will think about others and care about others. And we see that daily. It's wonderful. Uh, we expect our children to attend every day and be on time. Uh, we make no apologies for the fact that we will make sure that children are in school every day. If they're not in school, they're not learning and, and we need them to be here. So we, we will always be making sure that they're in and making sure that they're on time to school. And to be ready for learning, to make sure that they have all the equipment, to make sure that they have prepared themselves for the days ahead, that they have done their homework, that they have all their equipment, that they have all their books with them. Uh, the last one is our expectation for homework. So we ease our children in in year seven while we're just getting to know them and look at what's needed. And then we have three homeworks every night, 30 minutes reading, 30 minutes Hegarty maths, and then 30 minutes learning from their knowledge organisers or from other online platforms that we have. What do we expect of our parents? Well, we expect you to be engaged in your child's learning. And by engaged, I don't mean involved, I mean engaged in. So in other words, that when they come home from school, that we're really asking them about what was your maths lesson like today? How well did you do? How did you go on with your science tests that you had? You know, to be very specific so that they will give you those full and detailed answers. To support them with attendance and punctuality to make sure that they're here on time and that they um, are um, in, in the best possible um, frame of mind for learning that they can be. If you think that they're having a bad morning, then let us know. We, that's what we're here for. Um, and we can help and support. And if they're feeling a little bit poorly, if they've got a cold or a cough, then we would rather that they were, they were in and we were looking after them. Supporting them with homework, making sure that you know that they're, they're accessing the homework and understanding it. And if they're not, again, it's a partnership, a partnership between school, the pupil and the child. And we want to make sure that they're getting the best out of their home learning. And also to check that they're ready for learning each day. It takes a long time for children to get those really good habits of being organised and prepared. And you can really help there. There is one piece of important information that I, I give at the end of the presentations. Um, and, and it's one that I think is really crucial at this moment in time. Um, in, in terms of which school you decide to apply for, uh, it, in some ways, this message doesn't matter whether it's us or one of the other schools in Pendle, but it's really important for you to know that there are too many children for the number of school places. And so you must, in order to get the school of your choice, you must make sure that your applications are in on time. 
you must make sure that you have used your three choices and that you have put down the school. If you don't do that, unfortunately, you may live very close to us as a school. You may be two minutes down the road, but you may find yourself in a, in a school in Burnley um, or over in Colne, and, and there is nothing that we can then do at that point. So this this application is, is the most important thing to be able to have prepared um, and ready and sent off in, in enough time. And if you have any issues about um, filling that application form in, you just need to let us know. And if you wish to come and have a look around the school, we, we can't have you here. We would normally have you coming around and looking during the school day and looking at what we're doing while we're operational. Because I always say to parents, come in, come and see us, come and see what's what it's like in school. Because people have visions of Marsden Heights that, I, that are wrong. Um, you would come in and see children working really hard, children who are punctual, who are polite, who are lovely. They're a real credit to the school. Unfortunately, I can't do that at this moment in time, but I can offer uh, visits for you to come around and have a look when school has finished so that you can come and have a look at the building and get a feel for the place that we have here. Uh, and there is a place, uh, an email address that you are able to um, book a visit to if you want to, and I will quite happily take you around the school. So that's the end of my presentation. I hope that you found enough information. Um, you can ask me any questions you like. There is a, a button on there. And if you type your question in tonight, I will answer that question for you. We will leave all this information up so that you can have it for as long as you want and you can ask me any questions that you need. I hope that the information that we've given you has been really, really useful. But as I say, I'm on hand to answer any questions. Thank you.